sure that works. Yeah, 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 exactly. Take five. Um, so as far as I have some on the website, of course, but I think something like 53% of, of, I want to say, Americans are probably re below a sixth grade level, something like that. Um, I do remember how they affected me, I suppose. Uh, you could say that. Low-income children have much worse literacy rates than people who are more affluent. And that's the same thing is true of adults. So it's a book drive that collects books from neighborhoods, friends, family, and kind of gives them to more low-income kids at community centers, at food banks, at low-income schools. So I started it, I think, in November of 2021, maybe. I had a ton of books I needed to give away, and so I kind of wanted to just give my books to somewhere where they'd matter. Probably the, the most books I ever gave away was to Dolly Mad to uh, Dogwood Elementary. Um, I have no idea where it is, to be honest. Um, Dogwood Elementary, that was around 1,000 books. Um, they said, you know, they went through the books, they put them, they sorted them in their trailers, and they just put them all on the floor, and teachers got to choose which ones they wanted to have in their classrooms. Um, so that was a really great experience. So what I do is I just set up a table, I set up books along that table, ranging from board books on one side to young adult books on the other. People stop by my stand and I'll ask them what they want. They'll pick out something they want. AFAC is the Arlington Food Assistance Center and we uh, provide supplemental groceries to um, Arlington families in need, so on a weekly basis. So my parents used to volunteer there decades ago and they knew that they knew how it worked. They knew that people came every Thursday, Saturday, Tuesday to pick out food. And they knew that there'd be these long lines of people who'd just be waiting to do something. So knowing that, I reached out to them to see if I could set up a book stand to complement, you know, the, the long line. And luckily they were, you know, they were happy to have me. Obviously, like having books in the hands of children is very important in general. So um, that's wonderful and amazing. And he's targeting groups who may not have easy access to um, book ownership. Um, and in a very practical way, it helps keep, keep uh, kids busy when they're in our line. So uh, parents especially appreciate being able to hand their kid a book so they can just be busy while they're waiting in line for groceries. So I have books that I remember from when I was really, really small. Right? And I remember them. I remember how I used to read them or how my parents used to read them to me, right? I'd like to think that the books I'm giving the, the kids at Arlington Food Assistance Center kind of become like the, the sources of nostalgia they are for me, um, for those kids. And people at AFAC, the volunteers, um, and obviously the administrators, they thank me for what I'm doing too. When they see people kind of come through with their books. And they, they say they're really happy to, they're happy to have them. Um, and I guess that's why I'm doing it, right? Um, well, it certainly um, brings a lot of joy to our families. I mean, we hear about it all the time. Every day is here. People um, compliment him or compliment him to us um, and are just always so happy that their kids have books. And he, um, Alex really connects with kids um, in, a, in a very kind way. Um, so it's always amazing to see. So I worked on a lot of political campaigns in the past. Um, I'm definitely going to work on political campaigns in the future like I have been. And um, again, education is still kind of on the forefront of that. I think it's probably a product of my, um, my drive to improve education more than anything. Um, it kind of helped me see firsthand some of the people that, you know, educa for instance, education reform would be helping. Um, I, that's the biggest takeaway, or that's, that's one of the biggest takeaways I've had really. And it's one of the big reasons I'm going to keep on, again, working political campaigns, working kind of create lasting change.